Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' Scarf and it's D Boss here. After this honest bit is titled The Baby Regrets Betraying Meg the Stallion. Huh. I don't know why he's speaking on this now, but sure, well, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. In a recent interview, the baby expressed interest in rekindling with Megan the Stallion. The type shit me and Meg was making before. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. You ain't gotta be making all that, that lame shit with none of these other niggas. You can, we can come get it in. Lame shit? So you're taking a dig at the music she's making now? The, the issue is, <laughs> or the thing is, he sees that she's up and he's down. So he, he trying to come crawling back and trying to build a relationship with her again. But no, you already trashed her name and exposed that you slept with her or she went down on you. It was something like that. He exposed something sexual happened between the two in a very disrespectful, unnecessary manner when she was already going through a lot. I'm pretty sure this was around like the Tory uh situation the case yeah this has to been like a couple years ago so you picked such an inopportune moment to reveal that information and kick her while she was down and now you want to collab with her again while you're continuing to take a, a dig at her and be like oh you ain't got to put out this lame ass music that you got with these other people sir go go to the deepest depths of hell <laughs> Well, we, you know, we cannot. Yeah, I make beautiful music. We make, yeah, you gotta, I know how to talk that beautiful shit. Man. For lack of a better term. Yeah. Yeah, like, Jay I did Z like that one song. Foxy but, Brown. Mm, I, I went too far? No. Sorry. No, you got it. That was accurate. Do you? Yeah, that was accurate. <laughs> Do you? So I, I need to hear more Jay Z and Foxy Brown. I need to hear more. I'm open to it. Yeah? Yeah. So shout out to Meg. Now, for those of you that don't know, Megan Thee Stallion and DaBaby had a very public falling out in the midst of the Tory Lanez drama. The timeline of this drama is given by Capital Extra. The drama began just days after DaBaby released Scat, his record with Tory Lanez, the man who at the time was accused of shooting Megan during a dispute. It's important to mention that Tory was found guilty of first degree assault with a firearm, discharge of a firearm with gross negligence, and having a concealed firearm in a vehicle. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. At the time, the case was ongoing though, and Tory Lanez was taking weird jabs and leveraging misogynistic social media platforms against Megan. But DaBaby and Megan's friction officially began once blogs got wind of a tweet DaBaby retweeted, which made light of Tory Lanez shooting Megan. The tweet read, I guess DaBaby and Tory Lanez cool now because they both shot somebody and don't have to do no jail time. Which one is funny because he's in jail now, but at the same time, it's odd and a weird thing to find appropriate to retweet about one of your friends. It's one thing to do a record with someone that shot your friend. Not that I agree with that morally. It even sounds crazy just saying it, but it could be argued that business is business. It's another to actively poke fun at your friend mm -hmm. in the midst of media yeah, drama okay. and trauma. I didn't know about It just that. felt like senseless dogpiling on baby's end. However, the baby later took to Twitter to deny that he retweeted the tweet and oddly blamed the Illuminati. What? The baby wrote, I don't know what type of Illuminati stuff Twitter got going on. I ain't retweeting nothing, but ball if I want to promo and retweet that silly stuff. Then once people start tagging me and I saw it and tried to delete it and undo the retweet, Twitter didn't let me. Honestly, I find the probability of an accidental retweet to be very unlikely. You have to click several buttons to retweet something. It's not like a favorite or a like, where it can be triggered by a tap. You basically have to go through a confirmation system to retweet something. Mm. But say he did actually accidentally retweet it. He could have left it at that. But I think his response following that really didn't reflect well and maybe gave the idea that he did harbor those feelings towards Megan. Baby got enough problems of his own, he said. I don't have no reason to inherit the next person's problems. Y'all chasing a story, y'all ain't gonna get it. I'm out people business while still successfully doing business. Megan Thee Stallion took to Twitter and wrote, support me on private and publicly do something different. These industry men are very strange. This situation ain't no damn beef and I really wish people would stop downplaying it like it's some internet shit for likes and retweets. The baby then responded, claiming that Megan had let folks get the best of her and told her to maintain her stance without feeling like he is against her. Megan then clapped back at the baby by saying her stance hasn't changed by throwing his same argument back at him. 
She revealed that the baby said that he wouldn't promote his collaboration with Tori because it wasn't a good business move. Mm. Baby responded by saying, Wait. with Tori. That ain't real, but she's staying in business now. Because it wasn't a good business move. Baby responded by saying, you ain't tweeting nothing I ain't tell him already. I told him that. Whoever cleared it, cleared it. So what? Still ain't enough of my business for people to be feeling some type of way about my pretty chocolate self getting into that. So the baby quite literally admitted that he wouldn't promote his track with Tory Lanez, but turned around and did it, and also did a video for it. While the baby squirrel was also taking a nosedive, he resorted to using Megan for PR, and randomly brought up in one of his songs how he allegedly had sex with her. You play with me? That stuff was childish. The day before she said that Tory Lanez shot her, I was effing on Megan the Stallion, waiting to say this stuff on my next album, Hit it the day before too, but I kept it play it. I ain't say nothing about it, he rapped. Doesn't that last line literally defeat the entire purpose of saying this? Right. It's just so corny, like what was the point? Even if it is true, why is it relevant? His tone in the song felt like he was trying to take this stance of like conquering Megan. But she's one of the most sexual female rappers. It should not be surprising that she has sex, even if it's with one of her peers. But anyways, the baby has his back in the corner and now wants a piece of people who are more relevant. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I've always felt that the baby ruining his relationship with Megan the Stallion was stupid on all fronts. Mm -hmm. Him and Megan were a fan favorite item. They rose to prominence around the same time. They made multiple hits together. Yeah, crap, and they had creative fun. chemistry. And honestly, hip hop culture hadn't had a work husband and work wife relationship like that in a while. I could have definitely seen them becoming like the equivalent to hip hop's Ariana and Abel. They just fed off of each other pretty well, and they had their thing that fans really loved, and he threw that all away for Tory Lanez, who he did not have the same musical relationship with. And for what? For a moment of controversy? Now he's in prison, and the baby needs people in his corner. More than ever, he should try hitting Tory up for a feature. Mm. But even if Megan Thee Stallion and the baby miraculously made up and collaborated one day again, I don't think the optics would be the same. Unless maybe they did a collab that lays down their issues on record. But even then, I think that is very, very far-fetched. Ultimately, the baby made his bed, so he has to lay in it. He picked his side, so he has to stay there. Period. I agree with that 1000%. Don't try to come crawling back. Now nah, you did what you did. I don't even know about some of this. I don't know about the retweet. I, don't, I didn't know about the back and forth on Twitter. Maybe I did react to a video about it. At that time, I don't know, but it said 2021, child, so that was even longer than I thought. That was a long time ago. Um, don't recall. But, yeah, hot mess. If I was her, I would pay him desk. Like, anyway, moving on. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!